Hello and welcome. My name is Darren Hermans. I'm a product manager with the Enterprise Wi-Fi Group at Cambium Networks. Today we're going to be unboxing a new Wi-Fi 6 and 6E access point called the XE3-4. Now this is a 4x4 and operates in Wi-Fi 6 and 6E mode, tri-radio with software-defined radio. There's lots to talk about. Let's jump right in and show you the unboxing part of it first, and then we'll show you some of the key things about this product. So first of all, here's the box. We're gonna get it. Before we open it up, let's flip it around and take a look at the back side. Now you'll notice that this AP can be managed by XMS. It can be managed by CN Maestro Essentials, CN Maestro uh, X in the cloud. It can be also managed by Cambium Network Swift app-based management. So actually four different ways that you can manage this AP. So first, when you, as, soon as, you, as soon as you get the AP, I want you to go ahead and just snap that QR code right there. That'll take you to a website with all the detailed information about how to do all of these management methods and other installation guides are all found right there. Just snap that QR code. Let's go ahead and open up the box and take things out. First of all, when you open it up, there's your uh, quick start guide, which I know everybody reads. So go ahead and take that out and go ahead and read that. Take out the AP out of the little plastic bag, toss the bag, don't need that anymore. Underneath this plastic cover, throw that away. And we have a mounting kit. All right, let's get rid of the box too. Don't need the box anymore. All right, now here's, now we're done. We're almost, uh, we're almost there. All right, now you'll notice the AP has something on top of it here. You can't quite see it in the camera, but it's a clear plastic cover. It protects it from getting dirty and you know smudgy when you're installing it, get your grimy fingers all over it. So once you're all done with the installation, just peel that clear plastic off like that and just toss that away and we're done. And now you have a nice clean surface. You'll notice this AP has a very thin profile and it's nicely designed so that when it's installed on the wall, it actually hides quite nicely. It looks very, very slim. Now, we're just, if you flip it around, you'll see the two ethernet ports. We have gigabit and, and, and 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports plus USB on this AP. All right, let's open up our bag of installation tricks. And what we find in here is a little baggie with some screws and some wall mount anchors. That's pretty standard stuff. We have a metal plate. This is useful if you want to install the AP above a ceiling tile. You put this above the tile, put the bracket below the tile. Now the bracket itself is quite unique and I wanna spend some time showing you this bracket. It's very well designed. You can install this over two different sizes of T-bars, ceiling T-bars. You can mount it to the wall using these four screws or mount it to a ceiling surface. Now once you've mounted the bracket, you wanna connect it to the AP. Let's show you how that's done. So you'll notice on the back side here, this is the part that faces the AP. There are four clips. Now listen very carefully. Did you hear the snap? Okay, that bracket has now completely locked into the AP. It is not going to come off of there at all. It's a nice lock system, very easy to install and actually pretty simple to remove. So just take any standard, nice small blade screwdriver into this slot right here if you can see that slot right there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there in that slot. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure to the side and that's going to release the latch and the bracket comes off nice and clean. Easy to install, easy to take off, great little designed bracket for this XE3-4 Wi-Fi 6E access point. Now let's talk about why should you be interested in this AP? Well, first of all, it's an excellent technology that really enables customers to migrate from one network design to another. There's not a lot of Wi-Fi 6E devices in the market. Uh, Samsung, Google Pixel phones now support Wi-Fi 6E, but they're just starting to ship. I just got my, my Pixel 6 like a week ago. So not a lot of products in the market. So for investment protection and to help you to migrate, use the software defined radio functionality. So you can start in a dual five gigahertz mode as shown right here, and that supports your existing networks, your Wi-Fi 6, your Wi-Fi 5 really well. And as, as you need to grow the network, you can now change by just flipping a switch and uh, a software switch really, and you can turn it into tri-band mode with 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, and a six gigahertz radio supporting LPI and standard power. If you wanna know more about LPI and standard power, go over and look at one of the Cambium Network's webcasts on Wi-Fi 6E technology where we cover LPI and standard power. 
So what is the key advantages of software defined radio? Well, it really is investment protection. It enables you to migrate the network gracefully according to the needs of the client devices in the network and according to other factors that you may be aware of. So you can start out by selecting dual five gigahertz mode, not a problem, go ahead and do that. And then later on, you can select five and six gigahertz mode, enabling that six gigahertz radio on the SDR. You can use your existing design and deployment methodologies that you've established right now for Wi-Fi 5. It all carries forward. And then over time, you can migrate your installation methods and your design tools to include that critical six gigahertz band. Now, we've added one extra feature. It's a nice, nice little feature. When should you think about, what is the trigger point when you should start thinking about installing a six gigahertz network or migrating this network from five to six gigahertz. Well, we've put in a network migration tool into the cloud management solution, which monitors the network in real time and monitors the capabilities of the devices in the network. And it'll give you a recommendation. It will tell you when you should start considering you flipping that software switch and changing over to a six gigahertz network to improve the performance. So that's all built into the Cambium Networks management tools. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this new Wi-Fi 6E access point from Cambium Networks.